Hello YouTube, hello Twitch. Honestly, this is starting to, it's got starting to, you know, annoy me a little bit. Round Roll Crucible 19, we got close on like the first two episodes and I'm pretty close on the third one as well. Uh, and then since then we keep getting bogged down by the, the second floor, honestly. Which makes a nice change of pace from it being the forest. I'm at least seeing the, the stone enemies. It sort of implies that my issue right now is having AoE on the second floor or just something to deal with the shield, guys. So I will try and keep an eye out for that. I don't think we've been somewhat unlucky. Like, and I, I say this a little bit tongue in cheek. To some degree, you make your own luck, but at the same time, some of the new stuff that's been added to this character in particular. It's kind of nerfed them by the fact they're not very really good. I'm thinking of really the Carrot Relic. I'm just going to call it Carrot Relic, come to like remember his name. Uh, it's really bad and I've seen it a few times now. So, it's an interesting way to nerf this character by just diluting his pool of incredible stuff with garbage. Uh, but, you know what? They did that with the status effects as well. The addition of transparency, without a shadow of doubt, nerfed this character to some degree. Uh, let me just keep farming gold. Well, I, I still think they're really good. I just think this difficulty is, like, rock solid. There are some situations where we get enemies on the board that are just so hard for that fight in particular. I think right now we'll just take an upgrade on Evasive Maneuver Orb. I still think it's one of the best early orbs in the game. Also, I'm going to double question mark, Tyler. If we get duplication, I would duplicate an Evasive Maneuver Orb at level 2. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I want to go for this Elite on the right side. I probably do. It does mean I have to go through a shop tile, but... Uh, okay, we we can. Alternatively, we could just chase question mark tiles all the way down, because there is a chance that there can be... Cool. Elite fights. Uh, let me see what I get from the chest here. Oh, that was a chest! Holy moly, I was about to say that's like really rotten luck. It was actually pretty good luck. It's a bad relic for me right now, but... Uh, good luck nonetheless. You know what? We've got some really good stuff. I think I will chase this elite fight. So, here's what we could have won if I'd saved 50 gold somehow. I definitely would have taken grubby gloves. I probably would have taken improved catalyst as well. Uh, Sailor V, I cannot afford it. Do not go left here. That would actually be extremely bad. Thank you. A again, I said my piece on this Orbalisk. I think if you're absolutely desperate for damage, then it can get you out of a pinch, but if you accept its dark deal, you're probably making yourself worse for the later game. And I think this character is good enough in the early game that I just don't need the, the Orbalisk damage. I'll probably start accepting his powers when I start playing the base Peglin character again. So obviously that'll be after this run, right? Because we're going to knock out Crucible 19 right now. Definitely should have targeted the green slime. Didn't really matter, it turned out, but... The bombs will deal with the other slime. He says he doesn't hit the bombs again for the rest of the fight. Can you please work with me a little bit here? <laughs> the ordering. And I missed the crit. Oh my god. How has this gone so, so wrong? We might actually die here. I need the refresh, thank you. I need a great crit positioning, please. If I get a good crit positioning, all will be saved. Please target the right enemy as well. Dodge, please. Some shots, thank you. Right, we have to fire the Terror Ball because the game keeps giving me Terror Ball Horror Ball. Nice bomb, though. Maybe he misses. He doesn't miss. Why would he? Okay, I, I honestly made a bit of a pig's ear of this. I should not have taken as much damage as I did. I have to take the piercing orb because it's caused me so many issues recently. And I will be taking Mask of Sorrow as well. I think it's very good with the Round Your Eloquence. I am not going to greed here. 
I have not got the health to greed. Fine. I can live with this battle and the enemy that you've spawned into this battle. I will be using you for farming reasons. Goodbye, Tangler. Let me clear a path again. Okay, one more bomb deals with this fight. Give me some more money. Alright, the fight's over. Let me heal. For safety reasons. And I would like to go towards the left now. You would have been fantastic. This is the previous episode for you, YouTube, but on the last one where I had Persist. I will take it, but... I can't really use it this early. It's just... My sack is too empty. And the reload is too brutal. Wow, the bombs have gone in really stinky spots. The, the, the name of the game here is really trying to kill the, the two plant enemies with double bombs. But this is the one I've really, really struggled to do it on. And I don't think I'm going to do it now. I'm actually going to go for the 40 damage to kill the guy in front. I did get it. Saves me some damage. Then I'll try and knock you out with this. And now I think I'll go for the bombs. Huge. Okay, I, I can live with this. We'll take another heal. This is about the amount of health I feel happy going into boss fights on. Depends on the boss. I'm content going into this battle at this health. Not thrilled, though. Goodbye, my pebble. My sweet, sweet prince. You will not need it on this run. Nor any future run, to be completely honest with you, but... Okay, weirdly, I think the correct play here is just to fire it into the, the mass and not at the crypt. I don't really care about the pace right now. I do like the damage. I was actually hoping not to get a brief bomb as well, but... Whatever. Oh, shoot! I get the Bramble 2 now on enemies because of the, the Mask of Sorrow. That actually makes a huge difference, because the Bramble doesn't get purged instantaneously. All right. I might actually be able to hard wall this guy now. It depends, though. It relies on me hitting Bramble multiple times, which obviously isn't a realistic aspiration. But you know what? Acceptable. I've had worse starts in this fight. I've had better, but I've definitely had worse. Alright, we're going to get smacked a little bit. But I'm fine with it. Get the slimes. Yeah, just keep putting transparency on the boss. I'm sure that will work eventually. You know what? I'm going to take the crit, I think. Yeah, let's just... Who do you think you are? I am the board with six damage my favorite <laughs> okay we'll hit the bomb with the terror ball Ugh. after having a pretty nice start we've kind of tossed it away anyway he's dead damn i thought i might not be able to catch that bomb but i was really hoping i could Wow, I had insane exploitable on, didn't I? I didn't realize. But I just did a ton of damage for 30. All right, we'll take another heal. We'll take an upgrade. This has to be upgraded. It's too garbage otherwise. Uh, I honestly think this Ring of Pain is kind of fine. But at the same time, bombs. 
Alright, I'll take Overwhelm mode as well. That kind of solves all my issues of piercing on the next floor. Holy shit. I thought I was going to solve it for a second. Okay, the slime boss is literally just a damage check. Do I have a lot of damage? Not really. <laughs> does blind and transparency do anything to the boss? No, it doesn't. It does nothing. We're really looking for exploitable, I think. Oh, and Bramble is also pretty acceptable. So is Poison, for that matter. But I mentioned on an earlier episode that I'm typically looking for around 100 damage per shot to feel content in this fight. And so far I'm doing not 100 damage per shot, so... Oh, that's pretty bad. I kind of need that to be my big damage shot. Okay, just have the worst RNG possible. I say RNG again, like, you know, it wasn't me making the shot. I need to hit this refresh. I'm pretty certain I'm going to die. I can't get to the refresh, so it's... This is how my story ends, I think. Please, just let me get to the refresh. Oh, I mean, we... I can't hit it still. All right, that is actually the worst spot for it to ever go in. I've never, ever seen that before. I just couldn't hit it. There was never, ever a moment for me to hit it, which is a shame because that's a good run again. Just tossed off because... Bad refresh. Uh, I'll try this. It doesn't actually give me any more offensive stats, but it leads to some good builds. And again, I'm going to try and just assume that I'll get there eventually because of the starting relic. Right, the bat needs to go. But I don't want that to refresh. Uh, let me try and dig out the bomb in the center again. That'll do. I can live with this. Actually, I can't. I don't get enough money. I wouldn't have taken anything there, to be fair. Okay, I'm actually going to try and do a little greed. I'd like to go left. That's fine. I can live with 24. We should be able to get to 50 on the next battle. Or it's more realistic I'll get 50. And then I can take a upgrade and a buy. Instantaneously whiffs the first shot, by the way. Don't worry about it. I'll just give every enemy transparency and get out the fight that way. I've actually made a real mess of this fight. I'm not going to get 50, I think. Because one more bomb ends it. I'm going to take a few hits. I'm going to try and get the four. The bomb, please. Okay, this is fine. We'll, we'll hit the bomb now and end it. Do I want transparency? I, I've heard murmurings of you should try transparency because it gives you piercing effectively. Why not? I, it's so, so rare for me to like humor that. We'll try it. My personal opinion on that is it's too slow. Transparency plus blind is a synergy. 
it's not a good synergy, especially in the forest, but it's a synergy. And actually, it's not particularly good in the the second floor either. All right. Well, this is definitely not the fight I wanted, but if I can get transparency, you know, then, then it'll save me, right? Because that's effectively piercing. Where's the transparency orb? It's at the bottom. It's smack bang at the bottom of the sack. Okay, at least got the refresh. I'm going to kill this guy and put transference on the second guy instead. That seems way smarter. All right, we'll send the one two out. Six damage at a time is real painful. By the way, this doesn't work with transparency. He's dead already, so the transparency was completely worthless. Who would have thought it? Transparency being completely worthless. Kel Suprise. Right. I need to get to this refresh. I'm probably not going to be able to kill with what's just on the board right now. Would really, really like to not get hit again, game. I probably am going to. He's at least going to get a shot at it. Oh my god. It was better than 50 50 odds because he's got 31% blindness on him as well. Oh well, we get some money. And we're out. Right, do I want to take Exacerbate? It could put the transparency up higher, it could also do the blindness up higher. So logically, it is sensible. I'll take it. I'll live to regret it, but I'll take it. And then we definitely want to go left. Definitely want the bombs. That's pretty bad. I'm gonna go for the bomb hit on the right side. It's the most likely way I hit two bombs, I think. Nice, okay. Artillery plant's dead. Which was the real issue here. Transparency on the stump. The rare, this actually works situation for the glass of half ball. Now it doesn't work because I'm using this, but whatever. It's actually gonna get some play, I think. Nope, never mind, it won't, because he's gonna walk past the transparency now. All right, whatever. It, it's trying, honestly. Glass of half ball is trying. Okay, we should realistically start upgrading orbs. I should also probably heal, but... Let me take this up. I think it's worth it. And we'll go right. I'm taking the most aggressive pass. Or path, even, of all time. Actually, the dream fight. Uh, I think I want to do this this way. And actually, with the additional refresh on this map, it makes it considerably easier. Bramble, please. Any Bramble enjoyers out there? Bramble. My favorite of the status effects for this fight. All right, thank you very much. You son of a B. Uh, I, I think we'll just take the refresh and the more consistent damage on the crit here because I don't think the crit is going to give me a refresh. Please dodge a shot. Only one fifth of a chance. Actually, it's more than one fifth because he's got blindness on him. I mean, what can I do? I just have to take this shot. Nice. Nice. Kill him, please. You're a 2 5. Okay, we got it through. <laughs> Close than I would like it to be. I'll take a heal. We'll take an upgrade. This should get upgraded now. Because you know that this works with glass of half ball. The power glove S tier probably at the start of the game. So I'm going to take it. And we're going to go down question mark lane. As I would like to fight the other elites. 
Go away. Leave me alone. You didn't see me. Although, actually, hang on a minute. There is a synergy with this guy. I, I say that the Belusion is bad with this poker chip, which it is. However, if you want to get the Belusion triggered intentionally before an enemy attacks you, to get, like, Reduplet to put more crits on the board, then it does synergize positively. I think that is a real meme, though. And as I said, I'm, I'm done with memeing for now. I really want to go out the board right as well, so he could have one last laugh against me. Never mind. Get out of my sight, gambler. You ain't no Kenny Rogers. Hello? Green testicle. Right. Just put every status effect on this testicle known to mankind, please. He is going to get the blindness, whether he likes it or not. Nice. Get some blusion. We actually don't need to put transparency on him since he's got it already. I'll take the crit though. It also increases everything that's on the slime, which then applies it to everything on the slimes below. Can I get to that bomb? I can. That's the green slime's dead. Uh, We're going to get hit here. I think I'm going to target this guy and just try and mitigate some damage. I did kill him just. And the other guy's going to die to poison. So... I'm actually not going to get hit, astonishingly. Now I will do. I've kind of accepted that fact. Uh, I think the test will die regardless of what I do now. But you know what? If I'm going to go for bombs regardless, which I've missed, I was going to say, I might as well finish him off. Make sure that no other enemy spawns. I, I think I just... Send it for damage now. Every shot, just put it into the, the mats. Okay. We're out. Reasonable. Let's take another heal for safety reasons. Because again, I don't have great ways of healing. I will take Overwhammer. Thus making me taking the glass half ball somewhat irrelevant. Hello, Tangler. It's actually going to be really hard because the bombs are hard to get here. I say as I hit the first bomb. Oh, Overwhammer. Yeah, the bombs I had to get here without hitting pegs, but I've got so many refreshes on the board right now, it's unrealistic that I'm going to not hit the refresh. I will try and kill you, though, with the evasive maneuver. Orb. And now we'll just try and finish the other guys off, naturally, by throwing stones at them. Uh, I might need the stone damage. I will need the stone damage. Okay. I didn't quite get to 50, which is sort of a shame. I think my health is fine, though. By the way, I never looked at what the fight was. <laughs> You're a 2-3. Cool. Glass half ball. I really don't want to throw you right now. I'll take the crit damage on the pebble. Instantly 200 damage. You love to see it. I'd have loved to see the crit, but hey-ho. Again, I love the terrible horror ball. So I've got the crit almost every single opportunity so far and basically not being able to do anything with it. I'm going to need a good roll in a moment. 
I should get out of this without taking a hit. Because I think this will kill. Yep. Okay. Great fight. I take zero damage. You give me a relic. Do I need piercing? Debatably, no. It is somewhat debatable, though. Refreshing and crits move. Actually, not a terrible idea. However, I think the sash is better. Just save me from one lethal. Also, if I can break the sash and live, it's such a good relic. All right, I have the turtle, fine. Not great. Well, it is good, but... It's just not damaged, so I sort of don't care about it. <laughs> There's difficulty, at least. Okay, my build is kind of slightly scuffed versus the mole. I do actually need the, the transparency on the tree, funnily enough. So, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a lucky opening. Actually, I've got some transparency now. I, I will just use this regardless. Even though this was a, a thing that can target the back line. You know what? I transfer and see you as well. The mole has no status effect on him right now, but it's damage, so I'll take it. I'm getting slightly concerned right now. I should be fine, but at the same time, I've somehow got the refresh in really awkward spots so with all four of my refreshes. Uh, we're out now for the refreshes at least. Increases poison. Terror ball them. Okay. Feeling considerably happier now. I wish you died. In game, of course, plant, but I wish you'd... You weren't on three health. Please, everyone, leave the board now. I I'm tired of seeing you. I'm sort of stunned the ball is still alive. I might die here. I actually... I'm probably going to die here. I'm, I'm dead. I'm honestly... Oh, I'm not dead because of the sap. Actually, if we can get through this now, which is going to be really hard, but... The... The sash breaking is pretty big. The unfortunate thing is I'm going to have to live through my 20-something percent. 28 percent dodge. No, I didn't, because the satchel will half the damage. Unironically, this could be humongous. I just need to win the fight. He dies to poison. Okay, this is actually ginormous. I have the best relic in the game. And I owe it all to Glass Half Ball being so shit that I won the fight too slow and should have died. <laughs> I'll take a heal. And I'm honestly just going to save my money. Uh, we should take Defresh Potion. Someone talked about this, saying that does it remove the one refresh when you only have one left? I actually don't know. I think it does to take you to zero, which is what its old effect was. Because it does say rounded down, and I assume that it's not on the removal, it's on what's left on the board. I will say it's pretty troll right now to take it, because I've got four refreshes on the board, so I'm going to lose two, but I think this is a good deal. Morbid is so good on some maps. Uh, so I'm going to take it. What does it do now? It's the same effect, but it removes half your refreshes and then rounds down. It's to counter the synergy with the leaf relic, because it was so good with the leaf relic. Because obviously you don't care about losing one refresh as it used to be on the leaf relic, uh, as it's just negligible. 
However, losing half of them is actually huge on a Leaf Relic. So, it was basically a nerf to Defresh Potion, which I didn't think was particularly good anyway. But it was a very, very targeted nerf. It's more of a nerf on Leaf plus Defresh rather than anything else. I will say in this odd situation where I got both Bandana and Peg Bag, it was also a nerf to that, but... An unfortunate consequence, I believe. Anyway, I, I love getting another enemy on this fight as well, which is already... Oh, the Sash? The Sash is all incoming damage is halved. Once you break it. It is the best relic in the game. It's certainly the best defensive relic. It's just very hard to enable it. Because, you know, you have to die. And then live afterwards. But now that I've done it, it's so, so good. Wow, the crit is in the worst spot I could possibly have hoped for. I guess I'll just activate a bomb. I still got the kill regardless, so we'll say that was fine. Uh, honestly, just keep activating bombs right now. The shield guys are so frustrating for me. I I do need something with piercing that's not just transparency. I'm pretty certain the transparency doesn't go through the shield, right? It, it's so bad, this orb. Like, unbelievably garbage. Whoever in the comments said you should take this? Honestly, go in the corner. Go sit in the corner. Alright, honestly, what do I need now? I just need, like, damage. Damagios. Maybe Echo Up? Because I did just say I wanted some piercing. We are definitely going to go left. Unless I screw up. Give me an Elite. Okay, it's not an Elite, but I'd have taken it. This is actually, I think, the hardest fight on this floor. Oh, at least it's one of them. Considering you can get this as the first fight. The the archers do just so much damage. Like, disgusting damage. I will say, part of the reason why this is so hard is the refresh can be really horrible to hit sometimes. But, fortunately, I have two refreshes, so it's not that bad to hit. Alright, you also have to die. Cool. Just negate my turn, why don't you? Okay, glass half ball. Do your work. Cool, you didn't even break the shield. Ah, I hate glass half ball. Why did I take it? I'd be so upset if I die here. I shouldn't die here because I take so little damage. But... At the same time, I'm getting chunked. Right, this guy has to just go. Thank you. We can heal. We can recover from this still. Good time to Bramble, by the way. When the enemy's in your face. Good time to Glass Half Ball. You know what? Fuck the Glass Half Ball. I'll let him have a reload turn. Or I'll kill him now. Miss me. Miss me. Thank you. I think this fight needs some rework. This fight is just too hard. Or at least had a few more things on the board. Whatever, we live. Bearing in mind, though, if I didn't have the half damage thing, I would have 100% been dead. There's no shot right. Oh, there is one. All right, I'll hold at 39. But I had to heal. Popcorn would go crazy. So would the special relic, for that matter. 
In fact, the special relic would probably just win me the run. The combination between insane defense and insane more defense would kind of hit the spot. Fully enough, this is slightly anti-synergistic with the, the sash, but I don't care. I have two targeted, but they're all at the bottom. I think I intentionally fire this to try and do a little bit less damage. Now, I don't think this reflex, but I can't remember. This could be a bit of a throw. Because it's not a projectile, right? It comes out as a beam. Alright, bit of a throw. You know what? I found that delusion there. Please. Please? Why is right going left? Whatever. I, I'm fine with it. I can work this out. Just live. That's all we need to do right now. Just live. There are heals in my future. I think we hit him. He only has 40 health, he's dead. We should just fire it. Again, I would have died if I didn't have the sash. Uh, I am going to make the shop worthless if I heal, but I think I have to. I'm actually going to spend down. Popcorn! It's so good! Alright, we, we just have to... Get a battle and don't take damage in it. We'll take the elite battle. Why not? Oh, this could be scary. Popcorn, do your work. It's only scary because of the archer guys. Who are just going to plink me every single turn for the rest of the game. Let me try and kill this guy. Well, we've weakened him. Cool. <laughs> My glass half ball does nothing as usual. The plus 78 is so nice. Please, just who do you think you are? I am them. Close enough. One archer remained, and he didn't hit me. Popcorn? I, I don't know what we entered this fight on, but it was pretty close to this health. So I don't think we took that much damage here. So we're not going to the shop anymore. We've accepted the shop isn't for us. I, I think I just heal. I think I just stay alive right now. Who am I fighting, by the way? That's <laughs> the final boss of this floor. It's the magician, right? Nah. There's some good stuff here. I won't lose too much sleep over it, though. It is the magician. By the way, the magician really bad into the sash. Please go right. Thank you. Okay, Mirror Knight, I will not make the same mistakes I made last time. I am now aware that the the thing that looks like a beam isn't a beam. I say a beam, it looks like a traveling wave. Uh, it's actually a projectile. You're both three fours. I guess I'll put transparency on you for memes, even though it does absolutely nothing for me. I take one damage, ooh, owie my bones. Okay, I'd love the crit. If we can't get it, so be it. That foot tune to your other mode. 
I hit you again. Now we're gonna have some spicy moments because I don't have any more targeted orbs, so you will be reflecting me. But that's fine. We can discard into the last one. Okay, you get close to me. I guess I transparency you again, even though there's nothing. Maybe I get the kill. Maybe we can dodge instead. Nice, huge dodge. Then we take that into a targeted, so you'll flip regardless. He's also dead. The pig? Control yourself. <laughs> you could be really good. You're certainly an economy generator. And you do get the benefit of the hammer. Welcome aboard. Bramble, blind, and blind brambles. I don't... No, I do have blind arrows. Wait, I can bramble every enemy. Hang on a minute. I think this is unbelievably good. Especially against the magician where bramble's actually pretty good against them. Because he can't ever come forward to attack you. Right? I think we figured that out one time. It's really good to bramble this guy. I also like decoy orb. I will not say no to defensive items right now. I probably should have gone left and fought the elite, but you know what? Who cares? The build is actually pretty strong. Remove an orb? Yes, please. Get rid of my terror ball. It's actually one of the biggest things I can do to improve my build now is just remove everything. That's funny. That's actually a really good play for me. Yes! As long as he goes to the other side, it was a really good play. Right. The pig is pretty bad right now. However, he does also give me money, so... Pig? Get me some money. By the way, pig plus echo also works. Obviously, we're not getting too much damage right now, but if we can ever get the, the pig to do like 200 damage, the echo then has 200 damage on top of it. By the way, every enemy gets brambled now, so piercing is actually just god tier. It is run willingly good to have piercing orbs. Anyway, you need to die, mage. The only thing I'm missing right now is scaling of some variety. Because this isn't really going to be acceptable on the next floor. I won't be killing things fast enough, and I'm also not mitigating damage enough for, like, you know, taking bomb damage, for example, on the regular. 406 damage in an AoE, I'll take it. We have a chance. <laughs> we definitely have a chance. I will leave Pig in... Sorry, I'll leave my money as it is because of the pig. Hello again. We keep meeting, Mirror Knight. And honestly, I'm so happy to see you. My build is reasonable versus you, at the very least. Uh, oink, oink, by the way. Actually, I should upgrade the pig as well. Fairly soon. You do get a lot more bang for your buck from the pig. Now I'll give him one of these for 280. Also collect that money. Nice crit. Oh, it's all coming up and alone right now. Although that being said, I don't have another targeted up, so we have to kill the Mirror Knight with targeted stuff. He also can't walk right now because every single shot brambles him. But that's actually kind of irrelevant. Since he only has range damage. Well, he sort of only has range damage. At least with what I'm doing to me. Can you miss? You have 51% blindness on you. And I have 23% dodge. Alright, you're also deceased. Uh, let me upgrade Bay Pig in the city. Isn't this unbelievably good? 
because of my pacing up. That I'll pace, put transparency on everyone, then I'll blind everyone and bramble everyone. And that will work with my echo, which hits everything. Also, the poison damage gets halved as well by the, the sash. I think we're very good right now. And actually, there's a reasonable chance I will blind the magician this battle. So they can't ever hit me. Uh, oink, oink, by the way. Yeah, he can't put another... Oh, she. They can't put another painting down. They're actually just locked in place right now. As long as they always have Bramble on them. Unfortunately, I've got to get out of the trap in a moment. Because I'll have to reload. Oh no, the decoy orb will protect me. I'm going to intentionally kill the paintings there. They sort of don't care anymore. And now I just lock you down. Yeah, I'm taking zero damage because the pop god of the sash. And he's, they only do one damage at a time. Then they're not going to get a turn in a moment. Damn. I tried to time that to get inside the circle, but I missed. How did I miss all the crits? I'll never know. Just don't ever discard is the winning choice right now. There's simply no reason to discard. 71% blindness, by the way. Uh, oink, oink, by the way. Please hit the refresh at some point. I don't know, I just said no reason to discard, so why don't I discard? Uh, I'm dumb. I'm simply dumb, I forgot. Oh, by the way, I'm also dodging attacks at the regular and I'm getting spin X. This might be the hardest counter to this boss I've ever seen. They, they literally can't do anything to me. All right, fine, you can have it. No, you're not, just kidding, you're not having a turn just yet. I'll fight the horror ball. The zero eight horror ball. Oh, whoops, did I do that? <laughs> we should upgrade, because the, the pig. Zero four, but boards have one less refresh. Okay, let me think about this one for a second. We only have two refresh on the board, so that's actually not that powerful. I don't think I actually should think. I think I should just take Electro Pegnet. They're just general best relic. It is very spooky versus bombs, but I've got some sort of bomb protection in the form of popcorn and a sash. Hello, Spider. Hello, Echo, as the opening orb. Well, that's pretty troll as well. Echo into Horror Ball. Cool, thanks. Whatever. Everyone get brambled, everyone get blinded. Okay, that spider is very deceased. I think we just take enemies out one at a time here, or there or thereabouts. Transparency to all again, very good here. Uh, we'll try and do a little evasion strap. And actually, the pig might just OTK. But I don't need to worry about it just yet. Let's get more transparency on the enemies. So the pig provides even more value. Oink, oink, motherfucker. <laughs> I actually thought it was going to just destroy everyone. I'm slightly surprised he lived. Oh well. Uh, now you won't. I, I've, I've literally got you on lockdown. If you're an enemy that can only attack by being one tile away from me, you're about to have the worst possible time. Again, I think I save money. Who am I fighting, by the way? Is it the dragon? 
No, it's actually the hardest one of the bosses. Okay. That's fine. Didn't see that bomb, by the way. I could have definitely misnavigated there. Well, perfect moment for a pig. Definitely should be targeting you now. My actual issue is... I, I need to add another piercing up to the sack, I think, for consistency reasons. Or it would be nice to, at the very least. So this is what it feels like to be hurt. Sure. Plus 33. Not a lot of damage. But, again, the brambling effect is more than enough. You don't get a turn. Joke's on you. Right, let me try and kill the guy in front. It's going to be pretty hard from here. Transferring to them again, I suppose. I actually need the pig to be really good. I think the pig is my big payoff right now. It is that or get spinesse faster. It's one of those two strategies that I need to lean in towards. I think nothing here again is what I want. And I will go for the right path. By the way, again, in case you're wondering, black hole play has been nerfed, so I can't just farm black holes anymore. It simply does not work. Wow, this fight has two additional enemies on it. Are you okay? Game designers. Game, sorry, fights may contain an additional enemy is what it says on Crucible 19. Not two additional enemies. I think I'll intentionally hit some bombs here. Because the bomb payoff is actually pretty good for me right now. At least the red bomb payoff. I take two damage and do 150 to them, is it? Very reasonable. I still maintain, I think if I get the special relic, the build just goes to the moon. But I don't think I'll be taking damage anymore. Speaking of which, this is also a pretty good play right now. I mean, I'm barely taking damage anyway. I'm at 80, 79 health, sorry, and I'm out the fight. I'm going to take Pult up, guys. I, I think it's the right play. I'm actually going to give it an upgrade as well, so it does some damage. Just a lockdown fight. It also attacks all enemies. It's not just Pierce. It's like Pierce plus. Also good on the flying enemies in the, the Crystal Guy fight. Goodbye, Pebble. <laughs> we hardly knew you. Uh-oh. Never mind. Genius. Yeah, I'll take Tactical Treat as well. I think that's fine. Okay, we're going hard left after this. Hansy McGee! Of all of the elites I could have got, I'm so happy it was you. Because I hard wall you, Hansy McGee. Because you only attack in melee range. And I only apply brown ball. Uh, oink, oink, by the way. I got the combo wombo as well of Echorb into... Uh, sorry, the reverse. The, the pig into Echorb. Not that it matters if you don't ever get near me. Whoops, I did nine damage. Oh well. You know what? I might as well farm money versus Hans and McGee. If I can't do black hole farming, I'll do Hans and McGee farming instead. 
How's that sound? Oh, now that I think about it, he will get it. No, he won't because of decoil. He doesn't get a turn anyway. La 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 la. Just keep giving me a gold at a time, please. Thank you very much. Ooh. This is just a death by a thousand cuts right now. All right, I'll finish you with a pig. I am a merciful god. Actually, not unreasonable again. Just to lock fights down with. I'm actually not even sure I need to upgrade it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Whenever an enemy spawns gain Belusion, it's actually pretty good in the last battle. Whenever a crit is triggered gain Belusion, I, I do put lots of crits on the board as well. You know what? I'm actually going to take Vitamin C. Prime Rod of Frost, you're yesterday's news. You only work on Prime number turns. Pfft. How about every single turn I fire stops the enemies from moving? How's that sound? How have you got a flying TNT guy on your side? That feels a little bit unfair to me. Anyway, let me lock them down now. All right. And now I actually want to fire the glass half ball because I need something that is a projectile to go with transparency to lock them down. So I actually can't fire this. So we'll fire a pebble. Now we'll fire a pig. You know what? I'll let you get a little bit closer to me. Okay, I regret letting you get too close to me. I forgot you moved two tiles. Whatever. We're still not dying anyway. We have like the most impenetrable defense known to mankind. You know what? I'm just getting spinesse now. That's what I'm doing. I'm farming you for f spinesse. Okay, we just want money. Money, money, money. I'd like to go left. So, you know what? Let's use the black hole to do it. All right, I'll just keep making my enemies even more blind. That should be fine. And even more healing. All right, we... I think we've got this one covered. We might as well have a crack at this. I missed every single bomb. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this might be the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in this game. This is an elite fight, and it spawned another elite in the elite fight. I didn't know this relic could do that. We actually could die. I don't think we will, but we could. Morbid is very good versus these guys. Oh, can you not attack if you're brambled? If that's the case, we're also very good in that regard. Wow, I didn't know you couldn't attack when you were brambled. Uh, in a slight twist of fate as well, my two targeted orbs are really bad right now. Oh, you get close to me. I actually remember that at all. That, on a run which wasn't as strong as this one, would have been so heartbreaking to lose there. Fortunately, I can just lock down enemies indefinitely, kind of. Get, up, get out of my sight. You're too late. I'm not taking 79 damage for 21 gold. That is the worst deal in the history of deals. Goodbye.
Okay, this is the scariest fight I could possibly get. But I have the best the sack can offer. I can pig into Echorb. These guys are super, super scary, though. And actually, this board is just really hard to deal with. Or at least I find it hard to deal with. In this situation, though, I can just keep the guy on the outside locked down. Because if you bramble the last enemy, another enemy can't spawn. So, as I said, we've locked the board down. And now I can just kill them sort of at my own leisure. Uh, we might as well hit refreshes as well. They heal me with the cookie. Right. Let the enemies have a turn, finally. I'm ready for it. Never mind. Sorry. Decoy orb. I forgot you don't actually get a turn. Man, I'm cruel. <laughs> I'm running some sort of twisted game right now. Oh my god, there's two enemies left. Pig, get a kill, please. Thank you. Okay, last guy. Lock him down. I also weirdly find on this map that the Electro Pegnet isn't very good. And I don't really know how to put it. It's like the... The slight gravitational pull it gets makes it perfectly go between gaps. Right, more poison, please. Nope, all right. Uh, we'll take a little heal with the refresh. They're finally going to get to move towards me. Never mind, they're dead. It didn't matter anymore because he was dead. I don't think we should take that and the ball. We just don't need it. And down we go. Uh, we might as well just... Send it. <laughs> the mirror reflect damage can't be that bad. Yeah, one damage. And then the pig should do some good work here for me. Possibly. Maybe. Oh yeah, the pig's guaranteed to kill the mirror. And actually the transparency goes through and hits the the worm. Honestly perfect. Do I need two pigs? Hmm. It'd be funny, but I think I'll say no to two pigs. Don't miss navigate, please. Thank you. Just take me in the black hole. Okay, this guy. We should beat him. I think the correct place I should target this guy. Just put some transparency on the guy that spawns. I just need to get one of my AOE orbs, as, AOE orbs as soon as possible. But I had two pebbles next anyway, so I was going to have to fire a pebble. Well, I, I guess I could have discarded fire a... No. Yeah, that was the right play. I should have discarded fire a pebble. It doesn't matter. We're still going to win this fight. Like, there's almost no peril in it. Not quite to the point where I would blindfold myself as I did that one time, but... I, I just have too much control over the enemies. And on this map in particular, it's super, super strong. And then I also have insane damage mitigation is the other part of my build. Because obviously I would eventually die over time, but uh, I won't. Well, I, I will, but you know, you, you, you get the idea. I won't realistically die over time because I'll kill him way before he kills me. I'm actually going to target this guy again. 
The only other thing is, I'll get 100% uh, blindness, I think, on the boss at some point in this battle. If you went on long enough. So, I, I do believe I can't lose this. Anyway, I did that so that transparency would go onto the the bomber in front, so this damage will actually push through to the boss, to some degree. Now I can lock down this dweeb that's coming towards me. And by the way, I'm also scaling, because he's a ranged unit, so every time I dodge an attack, I scale slightly. So I'm getting stronger as well as I Taking zero damage so far, and he's at half health. Effectively zero damage. So let's put transparency on for the, the last hurrah. By the way, just a reminder, the only reason we're still in this run is because that glass of half ball is so bad that it made my run incredible. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I wouldn't have broke the sash otherwise, and I would have probably died elsewhere. The, the pig isn't going to get the proper damage out. Who's so going to go into the guy in front unless I get every single red bomb? Nope. Okay. I did still get the over damage. Just target the boss. He's he's honestly done so. This is somewhat anticlimactic, to be completely honest with you. This is so strong, this build. It, it's up there with the strongest build ever. I, I can just stop enemies doing things. Yeah. The dead. I've lost two health. Didn't go to insane damage numbers, but the the amount of control I had was unbelievable. That battle, truly, truly unbelievable. All right, well, that is the round drill done for now. Bosses each become uniquely more difficult. That is the Crucible Twenty. We will deal with all the Crucible Twenties together. So. Uh, you might know what this means. This means I'm back to playing base peglin for Crucible 18 and Crucible 19. Goodbye.